Hello everybody, it's me, Dana. Welcome to your weekly intuitive guidance and reading. And fasten your seatbelts, folks. It's gonna get freakishly fast from this point forward. We are definitely moving into the we and losing the me, okay? So the key to your success is win-win formulas, win-win-win. We, networking, together. More and more of us are waking up to some amazing, amazing gifts. And the key to really stepping into these gifts is sharing them. When you share them, they get more powerful. Start listening to those um, little nudges, those little nuances, those clues that you've been getting and been tuning out saying, oh, it's nothing. When the world is all screwed up, rearrange it. Well, the world is being a rearranged right now. It's like if you took a big, huge Etch-a-Sketch, those toys um, this one of the, the kids have, it's like a square box and you could draw pictures on it. And then when you're uh, done with your picture, you give it a good shake and it disappears and then you can start a new picture. Well, we're getting shook up and we are starting some new pictures beyond your imagination. Most of us are not even capable of even fathoming a different world. But the current systems that do not serve us and do not work are going to be replaced by things that do serve all of the people. And that's what's coming. And it's been in process for quite some time. But finally, we have a large enough collective of souls that are saying, yes, we need some help. Let's turn this ship around, okay? Before we were just a little too stubborn to even ask for help. And that has held so many people back. That is the number one fear that has held so many souls in limbo and in pain. The inability or the fear of asking for some help. We think or have been programmed to believe that if we reach out and ask for some help, some clues, some guidance, some direction, that that means that we are less than, that we're weak in some way. And this is the um, false truth that is being revealed. Because basically the way it's set up here is um, we have to work together. It is a networking system. And when we are individualized and separated, um, we are powerless. But when we are together and speaking with our outside voice, saying, hey, this is what's going on with me, and um, I need some help. I need to, you know, where I am isn't working. Can you, can you see what's, what's in my way? Because I cannot seem to see it. It's like an invisible wall around me. And if you can see it, if you can get that blister or that thorn out of my back, can you pull it out? And that's, that's what all of us are in need of doing, just to reach out to those people who can see where your blocks are, the people who can see why your soul is hurting, and the people who have the skills and know-how to help you remove the pain, to reveal it, release it, and heal it. These people are out there in more and more vast numbers and more and more of you are waking up to the fact that holy man I do need to talk to someone like that I really really do I could use some assistance and know this there is power 
power in asking for help, power in receiving healing. Because basically, it's like you're, you're plugging back in to the network. And you're like, whoa, once you do it, once you connect with someone else who can help remove that fog, remove the pain, and open up the avenues for you, you go, oh, wow, oh my God, why didn't I ask for help sooner? And when you step into your power and you see that you are ever so grateful and more powerful and you have the overwhelming need and desire to share that with the others that you see who are still in their pain, who are still in the fog, who are still thinking it's weakness to reach out and say, I need some help, I need some guidance. And you're drawn to them. You can, you're drawn right up to their bubble, right? And you can see in it, and you can see where the pain is, and you can see what's causing it, but you cannot go into that bubble and help that soul heal until they ask. That's the rule here. That's the magic. We've been led to believe that we are weak if we ask, but in truth, it's the opposite. Everything you've been um, led to believe has gotten you where you are. And if you're not in a happy space and you've been struggling and suffering with some pain and uneasiness or disease or, you know, all sorts of negativity in your world, then it's because you have been doing it inside out, upside down, and backwards. And more and more people like me are showing up in your world to help you turn it around, to get the inside out, upside down, backwards thinking, flipped around, turned right side in and right side out, okay? But people like me cannot help you get out of that bubble of pain until you reach out and ask me. And when you reach out and ask, and agree to accept the healing. Oops. It's so fast. It's so beautiful. It's so amazing. And it's coming faster and faster and faster. Instant healings are possible when you open that heart chakra and open up that bubble. A crack. Reach out and ask for help. And the person who can help you the best will manifest. They will show up. And it's time. It's time to step out of your pain because you're needed to help others who are going down a similar path as you, who can resonate and understand and say, hey, I understand where you're coming from. And our first reaction when we're in pain is, no, no, you don't understand. When we are in pain, we're quite miserable, I have to say. <laughs> and um, we think that no one understands our pain and no one gets where we are and what it's like to be me and no one could ever possibly know how I feel. Think about that. That doesn't make sense. Because collectively, the majority of you have been through pain in this lifetime. Mentally, physically, emotionally. And so many of us have been um, just dealing with the scar tissue, basically doing the best we can with the scar tissue and the pains and the hurts and keeping it all inside and suffering in silence inside. And it's time to speak with your outside voice. Step into your power. 
Reveal it, release it, heal it, and get your power back. You deserve it. You're supposed to be happy, healthy, and having fun. We are creators. We are amazing beings. And the darkness is being lifted. If your world's all screwed up, rearrange it. And I'm telling you right now, we are raising a little hell. It's leaving. It's got to go. The light is being shined on it in so many different directions that it can't even hide anymore. There's no dark corners to hide behind. When we remove the boxes, there are no corners. Nothing in nature, nothing in nature is square. Nothing in nature is a box. But look around your room right now. How many things are shaped like a square, like a box? How many of you spend the majority of your time looking at something that is shaped like a square or a box? Go outside. Connect with things that are more natural to who you are. This is an amazing vessel you got going here. And it's time to clean it out. If it was a car, <laughs> your mechanic would tell you, you need to flush this system. <laughs> you need some new fluids. You need some new power. You need to quit putting in all those additives into the fuel. And for this body, the additives are negative thoughts. Believing. Believing that you are less than. That's an attitude you need to remove because um, if you were less than, you wouldn't have got in. You have to be extremely qualified to be able to come to Earth for this experience. They don't let the rookies in. If you have suffered a great amount of pain, it's because you chose that, because you, you chose before you came in to go far, far, far away from your center to see if you could get your way back. You chose to go through the challenge of going so far away to see if you could get back before the circle was up. This is your wake-up call. It's time to get back. Put down your pain. Put down your negativity. Put down your, I cannot ask for help, false limiting belief. Step into your power. Get your healing and get on with your life. Just like Harry Potter. We're out of the cupboard, baby. Come on, let's go. That's your guidance for this week because uh, so many of you are going to be discovering new gifts. And depending on who you are and what you came in with, um, it's going to be different for everybody. A lot of you are going to be experiencing amped up telepathy skills. You're going to be able to have conversations without that cell phone. And um, I myself have experienced uh, quite a bit of it in the last couple of days. I also want to share with all of you today, I am celebrating. Um, I have been asking for a platform to be able to connect with more people. And, uh, you know, I kind of wanted to build a community for people who have skills like myself. To be able to connect with more people because there's going to be more and more people looking for us now especially because um, they're going to be going um i need to talk to somebody um not a doctor nope not a shrink no nope. no nope. who do i need to talk i think i need to talk to a medium i think i need to speak to an intuitive maybe i need to go see one of those energy healers and um, this was the network platform that I wanted to set up. But then I was being guided that, no, no, 
that was already going to be in place. I was just going to be joining a team. Uh, it's like, okay, well then what am I to do? And um, for quite a while it's been to just, just be still and just focus on building your gifts and the pieces of the puzzle are falling into place. To have patience, to rest. And that was a message for a lot of us over the last six months. Um, but the, the human mind, you know, it beats us up when we're resting. It says, what are you doing, you lazy bum? <laughs> but it was necessary for the mental, physical, and emotional releasing, healing, and resting for all of us because um, we had to be healthy and open up our gifts so that we can help others open up theirs. So the last couple of days, um, somebody saw my videos on YouTube and recommended I go to this other site and poof, 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 all of a sudden I'm going to be on another, on a website of something with a platform where people like you can connect with people like me easily and this lady has been building this and um it's it's going viral and that was the message i got um as i clicked in with her and had an interview with her earlier today and it was like whoa so this is where i'm supposed to be and the reading that I gave her and everything that was coming through the messages for her and myself at the same time were quite beautiful. And back to the telepathy, um, yesterday I had everything set up to do a Skype interview with her today. Yesterday while I was um, making my dinner, I'm like, hmm, I think I can chat with this lady telepathically right now. I'm going to test it. So I was in my kitchen cooking my dinner and I'm speaking to her. I'm going, well, either consciously or subconsciously. I, I'm not sure how, if you're actually going to pick it up, but I am chatting with you. And if you are picking this up, I want you to send me an email to reconfirm our meeting tomorrow and I want you to do it now I finished cooking my dinner made my plate came into my room to sit down in front of the computer and check my emails and at the top of my email list was a email from her reconfirming our appointment for today and uh, yeah, we'd already confirmed twice. That wasn't a necessary thing. But I asked and I received to test it. I did it again this morning. I'm like, all right, I want one more. I want one more confirmation this morning. Same thing. Another message on, on Skype or email uh, for her just tuning in. I got another one at 10 a.m. this morning. I wasn't supposed to be connecting with her for another three hours. This is how beautiful and easily things are opening up. It's like the, <laughs> like the lotus flower is opening up for so many of us right now. And each of us asks for different gifts. I definitely asked for healing gifts, for the ability to be a translator and a conduit, a bridge from one team to the other. So I'm here to help a lot of you reveal, release, and heal and open your gifts. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for subscribing to my channel and sharing these videos on your social networks because someone out there needs to hear this and maybe it's you know like they say there's what six degrees of separation well when you post my videos on your social media someone one of your friends 
will see it. And they needed to hear something in this message today. So for those of you who do share, it is so, so valuable. If you care, you share. If something moves you, you share it with others. Even if there's just an inkling of something that resonates with you, pay it forward, okay? Maybe it's not the time for you to hear the message, but there's definitely someone out there in your circle who does. Thank you all for your comments, and I will have more information on the uh, new place where you'll be able to find me and, uh, you know, check in and do readings and uh, healings and all sorts of fun stuff. Things are going to um, move very fast for the rest of this year. Um, we got the last week of January here. Plant some super seeds for that super moon that's coming at the end of the month. Make sure you're outside and enjoy it feel it i went for a walk today i went for a four hour walk i just i could not get enough sunshine i could not be outside enough today and then i found a quiet little spot and i took my shoes and socks off where nobody would be bugging me and i connected to the earth and i i really feel like i just got a power pack and i want more and more and more of you to really go out there and do that bare feet on the ground if you've got a yard go outside and walk in it in your bare feet that'll do more for you than anything you're gonna pick up at the drugstore I tell you natural su supplements the green earth on your feet and the sun shining on you our father son mother made out of these things, that's the key to our health. Pass it on. Smiles to all of you. Enjoy the last week of January. I'll see you in February. It's me.